There are generally two kinds of market investments that people consider, one is in stocks and the other is in bonds. People generally believe that stocks are quite risky, the price of a company could go up or down and we could lose all our money. Bonds on the other hand, especially government bonds, are seen as being very safe because we get a guaranteed risk-free return every single year. In 1985, Mera and Prescott decided to see if these beliefs were actually true. They found that over 89 years, the average return on stocks was 6% higher than the average return on government bonds. They had no way of explaining this. How could a risky asset like stocks possibly give better and higher consistent returns than a risk-free asset like government bonds, which is a sure bet? They named this the equity premium puzzle because it was a puzzle as to how stocks had better average returns than government bonds. A good explanation of this puzzle is through myopic loss aversion. This theory states that the important variable is how often someone checks the performance of their stocks. For example, if you looked at your stocks every day, seeing all the ups and downs, you'd be very unlikely to keep your money there. The stock market, in the short term, is very volatile. If, however, you looked at it once every year, you'd be much more likely to see better returns on your investment. The stock market, in the long run, is always growing and very stable. This theory makes sense because most investors will review their portfolios with their brokers once a year, and so they won't be affected by the short-term volatility. Thaler looked at this in 1997 and showed that the less often people check the performance of their stocks, the more likely they are to see better returns. And he believed that this solved the puzzle. Stocks perform better in the long run, and as long as investors check the performance of their portfolio once a year or even longer, stocks will continue to outperform government bonds. So does this solve the puzzle? Maybe. Economists still debate this to this very day. But myopic loss aversion is a very convincing argument. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check out my other videos.